growing up, I had always been that smart girl, or I had been, oh, she's gonna be a doctor someday. And I think I had taken those expectations of success and I had morphed them into unrealistic expectations of perfection and pressures to be placed on me. During my first year of dental school, I was in this course called Clinical Foundations, and in this course we develop our hand skills, and I was struggling really bad. I was between these two guys who were always so perfect, their work was always so good. Always compare myself to them, constantly. And I want you to understand that comparison is a thief of joy. I was always comparing myself to them and leaving my work neglected. Too afraid to ask for help, too embarrassed to ask for help. I'm on the plane to Barbados, heading there with three of my friends from dental school. I get an email that I failed the course. Failed the course, I had never I had never failed the course in my life. Two weeks into my remediation, I come home and I break down. Why? Because all these emotions, all these thoughts, all these thoughts and inadequacies start rushing in. You're not good enough. Well, you see this perfect facade that you've built up for yourself is coming crashing down. I think it's sometimes it's okay to admit defeat because it's in those moments where you can really receive the encouragement and the things that people, the good things about yourself that people are telling you. You know, I had all these feelings of like, oh, you're just one of 109, you're an imposter, how did you make it here? And I'm thinking in my head, oh, this is, I didn't deserve to be here. But I think three things that got me out of that rut was one, know that this moment of failure is just a moment small moment in the grand scheme of things in the big picture so don't let it put a damper on everything else two understand and know that the passion that god has placed and instilled in you is is right and no one can ever take that away from you and three i knew that i had a role and a responsibility to use this moment this failure to encourage others and to progress forward. Um, and lastly, I just want to leave with you guys that you need to realize that you're in the lane destined for you to impact healthcare, whatever aspect of healthcare that is, whether that is medicine or dentistry or PT or chiropractic or um, optometry, whatever it is, you're predestined to be in that lane to impact that field in a major and a grand way and especially to the communities that you will be serving. You're predestined for that. And so do not ever forget that. 